Hey guys, this is a demo of Home Remote version 2.2. It's just been approved and is working its way through the App Store now. Uh, the first feature that I wanted to demonstrate is the ability to rename an existing action. So um, it's just done this normal way. Click your existing action, click the edit icon here, and straight away it just allows you to retype the name of an action so you don't have to sort of delete it and re-add it. Um, that was very highly sought after function. So um, we also now have this settings button here. So when you press that, it just takes you straight through to the settings and that leads on to the next feature as well. So here we have voice recognition prefix now. So um, it means within the app you can you previously had to say home remote, whereas now you can um, remove the prefix completely uh, before calling an action name or set your own. So um, I'm just going to leave it as empty to start with and if I nip back to the app I'll be able to change the, or call the actions just with my voice. Desk orange. Desk purple. Desk blue. Desk pink. Whereas now I can go back into um, settings and Let's use Jarvis from Iron Man, eh? So there's Jarvis. I'm just going to back out of it so it takes effect. When we come into the app, you will see it just gives you a little tip of what the prefix is. So I can say Jarvis Desk Orange. And there we go. So next on the list of changes is uh, localization. So we've now got um, Dutch and German localization. So they're actually some really big um, customers of Home Remote. So I thought it would be nice to add in some localizations for those guys. I'm not going to demonstrate that because it doesn't look too tasty. Um, next on the list as well is repeatable buttons. So that's a really good one. So if we've got um, an action, we call it uh, TV volume up. Now see, I didn't even know Home Remote worked with this, but apparently it does. Some users have been reporting that they, they use Home Remote to control their smart TVs, and they'd really like repeating URL actions for um, things like volume. So I've added that in, and let's just give that a demonstration. So you would uh, input your URL here, whatever that is for, for volume up, um, and it just also gives you the ability to do a repeat interval in seconds. So if you have a repeat interval, it means the button on the today screen, you can press and hold it and it will repeat that um, URL request for, for as long as that button is held down at the repeat interval defined here. If there's no repeat interval defined, then it just won't repeat the action when you when you press and hold it and won't call until you come off the button. Um, next on the list is, it's, it's a small one, but it's really, really helpful, I think. So <clears throat> let's back out of this. A lot of time you want to people want to send their configs and and read configs as well. So um, we do have the functionality in the app to generate a config. Normally you'd then have to hook the device up to iTunes, go to the documents folder, put it onto your computer, email it. It's a bit of a pain in the ass really. So when we go back to the app now, it says your configuration files in the documents folder of the app, which is accessible via iTunes, or you've just got this nice email button now. So straight away you can um, email it to yourself. So I'm going to actually email it to myself. <clears throat> Press send and I'm going to wait for that to come through. Hopefully we get it straight away. If not, I've got one that I can search for in this video. Yeah, okay, it hasn't come through. Oh, there it is. Okay, so now you can click it and straight away you've got open in home remote. That's going to come through put everything in, load the configuration file. It's much easier than hooking it up to the device. Um, okay, so we've already covered off the settings button as well. And last but not least, this one isn't really gonna affect a lot of users, but it will help some of you out. Um, thank you very much to, the, to Hamish, who works on the Limitless LED app. The, um, the bridge detection now is a lot better, so um, it should work for a lot of people before it, it didn't actually work for quite a few but it's um, so if we just clear this down we press search now so here you can see it's found um, two of the bridges I've got two in the in the um, in the house 
just press the one that you want to select and there you go it will input the information so thank you very much to Hamish from Limitless LED there um, that's it that's version 2.3 ah that's not it fully so if we nip to um, the version in the app store and just search for home remote we now also have a preview video it's, it's a minor thing but I think it looks quite nice um, we just have to search for it here <clears throat> here it is so you can now press on here and straight away you'll see the video And that's it, that's Home Remote 2.2. Please go and get it and please, please, please rate and review the app. It makes a huge difference to search rate results, which makes a huge difference to how much it brings in for me. You know, I, 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 I don't rely on the money from Home Remote, but it's, you know, it, it does help further development if it's bringing in some money. Um, so yeah, please, please rate and review. It's really appreciated. If you've got any problems, just give me an email, you know, there's, there's no need to leave a bad review, just, just speak to me, I can help you get it resolved. Thank you very much guys, hope you enjoy Home Remote, and I imagine the next update we're going to see is probably going to be the long-awaited Apple Watch version, which I am super excited about, and uh, we'll be making some more videos of soon, I imagine. Bye!